welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Elise thank you so much for stopping by and if you're not new then of course welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title we are continuing the zodiac series and we are doing none other than the workaholic the boss ass bish okay the Virgo I am so excited to be doing this video because actually Virgo <laughs> You guys are kind of my favorite earth sign, so I'm really excited to talk about you guys. I got some fun facts about Virgos. I got some actual facts about Virgos. I got this whole makeup tutorial to show you guys. There's a lot to cover in this video. You guys know how this works. If you are new here, by the way, I have a whole playlist on zodiac signs. I'm very into zodiac signs. So if you are wondering what I think about your zodiac sign, then chances are it's already up. Go check out the playlist that I have. I will link it somewhere around here. Anyways, you guys, that is it for this intro. If you are a Virgo, if you have a loved one who is a Virgo, if you have a pet hamster who's a Virgo girl, you're going to want to keep watching. Very important stuff to talk about in this video. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off with the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Palette. And I'm going to be taking the shade Aquarius, which is just a light beige shade. And I'm going to be using this as a transition. And I'm going to apply that with a fluffy brush on my crease in windshield wiper motions. I'm going to keep the eyes very basic. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade Pisces, which is just a dark brown matte um, shade. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to run that on my um, kind of like lash line to kind of create wing liner, if you will. But I'm doing it with shadow. And as you can see, look at the difference between one eye versus the other. It just creates so much more oomph. It gives your eye a whole lot more drama without it being too over the top. Next, what I'm going to do is just pop on these false lashes. I really like these because they're very natural, but at the same time, they give you a little bit more something because at the same time, I don't want to not wear lashes you know I'm gonna be taking this elf nourishing face oil and I'm just going to be applying this kind of as a base because I do want my face makeup to be very luminous and hydrating and dewy so I'm going to put that beneath the foundation and then for, for the foundation I'll be using the Maybelline uh, what's this called dream urban cover foundation I've been obsessing over this you guys like seriously it's been like my go-to foundation all summer long basically for concealer, I'll be taking the e.l.f. Camel Concealer, and then I'm just going to blend that out really well with my beauty sponge. So now I'm just going to make sure I set that concealer really well because I, even though I am trying to do the whole dewy thing, I also have to be mindful that I am oily, so I have to make sure I set that really well with some translucent bronzer, powder. I'll be using this Morphe bronzer, and I'm just going to use this to just give my face a little bit more color. And then I'll be taking this e.l.f. palette, and I'll be using the blush and the highlight from this palette. I love it because it's so peachy and it matches my shirt really well as well, so I absolutely love this palette so much. Moving on to lips, I'm going to start off by lining my lips with my NYX lip liner. I will have the shade and all of the other details in this makeup look listed down below, so make sure you check the description box if I am going kind of fast. And then I'm going to go over top of that with some Morphe lip gloss. And last but not least, I'm just going to set this with my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray, which, which is just going to give me a little bit more glowiness, and that's pretty much it, you guys. Alright guys, so this is the makeup look that I ended up with and I love it. So because Virgo is an earth sign, they're known to be very grounded, very stable people. I of course wanted to do a makeup look that represented that but was still very pretty and just something that I think a Virgo would really like to wear. Most Virgos are very much into their nudes. They don't really like to play around with color too much. That They ain't about that life, okay? So I really wanted to stay true to that. So that is why I created this makeup look right here. This, this is definitely a very work appropriate makeup look and because at the end of the day Virgos are known to be workaholics. I wanted to do a makeup look that you could stunt to for work, okay? So this to me is definitely that. So I'm looking on my phone per usual. I write all of my notes on here so that I can just talk to it with you guys. So jumping right into the hard facts about Virgos. The birthday range is anywhere between August 23rd through September 22nd. If you are anywhere in that time frame, happy birthday to you. I actually have a lot, a lot of Virgo friends that I love so dearly that um, are celebrating a birthday this month and next month. Virgos are an earth sign and their symbol is a maiden and they are ruled by the planet Mercury, which if you did not know, Mercury is known to be the planet of communication and mind. So because of that, most Virgos do have a tendency to have really good open communication, open dialogue with their family members, their loved ones, their partners, just people in general. I like to talk about negative and positive things about the zodiac sign. Don't trip, okay? If I say some of the negative things, I gotta let you know, okay? Because nobody's gonna tell you like I'm gonna tell you. Sometimes you gotta hear it. Sometimes you gotta hear it, okay? Alright guys, so I've already mentioned this a couple of times in the video, but Virgos are known to be workaholics. So what does that mean? Virgos are usually very eye on the prize type of people. If a Virgo has their mind set on something, you better believe a Virgo is going to do everything possible to attain that goal. Now don't take that as a negative thing. That is not 
negative at all. That's actually a really good quality. Like I feel like everybody should have that quality. A lot of signs do have a lot of ambition and really do have the possession to really want to make their dreams and manifest them and be make them become a reality. And a lot of signs do do that, but I just feel like a Virgo takes it to a whole nother level. Like a Virgo takes it to the point where it's like, nah girl, you ain't even funny anymore. Like you, you work too much. So that gets me to my negative connotation here is Virgos are so focused on their end goal on always work, 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 work. And sometimes they don't quite know when's a good time to stop working. Like oftentimes you might have a Virgo friend, a Virgo family member, a Virgo mom, Virgo dad, Virgo husband, wife, whatever. And you might feel like you're constantly having to tell them, like, can you close the computer? Like, can you please spend some time with me, please? Because Virgos are truly so focused on their passion, on what they want to do, um, whether it is a business, a passion project, whatever the case may be. If a Virgo is very passionate about something and working towards something, they tend to really blindside everything else and just focus on that one thing. And it's not a bad quality. Don't take it as a negative thing. It's really not. What When it becomes negative is when the people that you love and the people around you are truly almost like prying you out of your seat to do things for them or to spend time with them. And you just don't know how to do that because you're just so focused on you and the things that you're working on. Girls also tend to be humongous over analyzers and really over critical as well. In general, like they really tend to really overthink things and they also tend to be really hard on themselves. Like to the point where it's like, okay, give yourself a break. Like you're gonna figure it out. Take a breather because the Virgo's just like, they wanna be perfect. They wanna be this perfectionist. They wanna nail everything. They wanna be the best at everything. Sometimes a Virgo needs to understand that trying your best is the best that you can do. But a Virgo's like, nah, hold on. I, I wanna be perfect. Like I wanna be the best. I don't wanna just try my best. I wanna be the best. <laughs> so I feel like sometimes that's where Virgo's need to take it down. Just just a little bit. Because Virgos tend to be perfectionists in their crafts and just in general and because they tend to be so overcritical, it's often said that Virgos are also very fussy and very hard to please. I've never noticed this particularly because I feel like I feel like this is a quality that you might notice more in a Virgo partner and I've never been with a Virgo. So I can't exactly say that that's true because I've never noticed it because I feel like it might be a quality that you might notice more in a relationship. Because I've never been in a relationship with a Virgo, I don't necessarily know. Virgos are big time worry words, especially when things do not go to plan. I've said it many times before, Virgos have a plan, they have an agenda for their life in general. If they have a goal in mind, they're gonna do everything to attain that goal and make it become a reality. However, when something does not go to plan or, or a piece moves out of place in the puzzle, a Virgo's world is like, boo, like they're like, what is going on? Why is this not going as planned? So sometimes they do say that Virgos don't adapt easily to change. Virgos are very much a, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type of person, but they don't really like to change. They don't like change like that. I've noticed a lot of Virgo friends of mine have been in relationships for a very long time. They don't really like to change up partners and stuff like that. I also have some Virgos that I know that have been in the same job for years and years and years and years and years. And they're just good with it because they just don't really adapt well to change. They like to stay according to plan. So if anything is going to throw them off off plan, off schedule, a Virgo's like, nah, we ain't about that life. We don't like that too much. Virgo's on the surface to other people that don't necessarily know them kind of seem to be very shy and reserved. However, when you really kind of crack that outer shell, Virgos are really witty and they're really, really funny and charismatic people, but you have to really get it out of them because they're just gonna be very surface at first. They're kind of like almost standoffish, kind of like a mm, 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 mm. It really takes a special somebody to really open up that shell for a Virgo because they're really reserved at first. All right, guys, so let's move on to some of the great things that a Virgo embodies. And one of the first traits is actually the same trait that was the first as a negative. Again, workaholics. Ambitious, ambitious, ambitious people. They work really, really hard. They work really hard for the things that they have. Virgos don't expect things to fall on their laps. They're freaking hustlers, okay? A Virgo is also very practical and very reliable. They're very realistic. They have a really realistic approach towards life in general. They do not live in La La Land or, or fantasize too much about things that they don't have or things like that. They're truly just very real people. Virgos are also very thorough and detail-oriented. 
pigmented and super meticulous, meaning nothing goes unnoticed with a Virgo. They notice every little thing because every little thing matters to a Virgo, whether it is in a relationship, whether it is a job that they're performing, they literally notice every little thing. It's really random, but another positive quality that I've noticed in Virgos is you guys are really pretty. Like Virgos, some of the most beautiful women that I know are Virgos. Like I've never come across a non-attractive Virgo. I'm saying that more for females because I know more female Virgos than I know male Virgos, but you guys are really beautiful. And that's another reason I did this makeup look because I truly feel like Virgos just like to enhance what they already have. They don't really like to add a lot of fluff and a lot of color and other random things on their face because I just feel like they know they cute. Like they know they got it. They don't got to do all that extra stuff. Virgos are also really motivated. That is why they make great business owners, entrepreneurs. Another really cool detail is Virgos are really, really good at managing their finances, managing their money. They really count on the finances that they have in front of them and they do not play with them. One of the last points is they are super neat and tidy. They usually have a great sense of style and they take a lot of pride in their appearance. That goes hand in hand with them being very meticulous and very particular in the way that they like to look. So that is huge with a Virgo. And the last thing is Virgos are super loyal. When it comes to friendships and relationships, a Virgo is loyal to the bone. Even in situations where they shouldn't be, they're super duper loyal. I have friends that are Virgos that I've had for so many years one of my longest friends in life I think over 15 years at this point so she's a Virgo I also have some other friends that I've known for eight nine years that are Virgos I also have a friend who's been with her Virgo partner for like 11 years so really truly Virgos are super loyal and they really know how to hold a long-term relationship whether it be a friendship or an actual romantic relationship and they really truly understand the meaning of loyalty and having that commitment with someone Somebody. All right guys, so when it comes to Virgos, here are some of your bullet points that you need to know if you are in a relationship with a Virgo or if you want to be with somebody who is a Virgo. Virgos are super loyal, super loyal, like loyal AF, like I just said. But something that's really cool about Virgo as well is they're loyal, but they're not clingy. Me personally, I don't think I could handle being with somebody clingy. I truly enjoy my space. It's the Aquarius in me. I truly like being left alone and Sometimes it's almost not good because I truly feel like, okay, give me my space. I don't want it right now. So I really truly appreciate people who understand the meaning of space, but at the same time know how to keep commitment. And I do feel like a Virgo is exactly that. That's why a lot of people want to be in relationships with Virgos because Virgos, um, they get it. They get it. They know how to ride for you, but not be on you 24 seven. Next, next point is Virgos are also super organized in relationships. They're usually the ones that are planning everything, making sure that everybody has their passports when they're traveling and everybody has the itinerary all set and everybody has the car reservations booked. Virgos are usually on it. Very stable partners to have. Like I said, they're good with their money. They're good with finances. They're good with planning things. They're organized. Partner, they bring a lot of structure to relationships. So let's wrap it up with some of the famous Virgos that we all know. So the first one is Queen Bee, of course, Beyonce. I feel like if you don't know Beyonce is a Virgo, you sleep in. Okay, you sleep and you need to wake up. I love me some Beyonce. And like I said, she's beautiful and I see this woman works so hard. She's been with Jay for I don't even know how long, so there you go, she's loyal. And she's a perfectionist. Like she said it many times in so many um, documentaries that she's done where she's like, I'm, per I'm a perfectionist. So the next one that I have is Michael Jackson. Of course, super successful, ambitious, clearly. He's Michael Jackson for a reason. Then we have Zendaya. We have Pink, Kobe, Bryant. They're all Virgos as well. I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned a couple things about Virgos. I hope you found this video enjoyable. And of course, I hope that if you are not subscribed, then girl, I hope you get your ish together and you finally subscribe. Okay, if you made it to the end of this video and you ain't subscribed yet, I don't know if we can be friends. That's it for now, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.